Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and this demonstration blog is using WordPress version 3.0.1 along with the thesis theme version 1.8 and what I'm going to be teaching in this video tutorial should work with any version of WordPress past present or future and of course the thesis theme is absolutely not necessary for this video okay what I'll be teaching in this video is how to download install and activate a free theme for your WordPress blog from the wordpress.org website and it's just going to be four steps find the theme that you want on the wordpress.org website find it again in the or locate it uh, search for it in the dashboard of your blog download it then activate it very simple okay so what I'm gonna do is click on this tab in my browser I'm using the Google Chrome browser and that's gonna bring me to the wordpress.org website okay Next, I'm going to mouse over the word extend and then and automatically a drop down menu shows up and then I'm going to left click on the word themes and that brings me to the free themes directory. You can see that there are almost 1300 free themes that you can download. Now I'm just going to scroll up and down real quickly and there are some themes right on this page that you can look at. Now the best way to find a theme in my opinion is to look at the themes that are sorted on the right hand side into three groups. You have the most popular group at the top, then you have the newest themes, and you have the recently updated themes. Now the themes, because they're just organized in these groups, they may end up being in one or more group. For instance, it could be on the newest theme and the most popular theme at the same time. The reason I like the newest themes, it's always safe to search for theme under newest themes and recently updated, is because you know the theme that's been created and developed will most likely be compatible with the latest and greatest version of the WordPress platform. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on most popular and that will bring us to the most popular themes free themes. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom just to let you know that there are different pages. One, one, two, three. It goes all the way up to 86 pages of free themes that are rated according to the popularity. So if you want to get to page two, you just click right there and it brings you to page two. I'll scroll down a little bit slower so you can see the samples, the thumbnails of the different themes that you might want to in download and install for free. Now I'm going to click on number one here to bring me back to page one and I'm going to the top theme here is graphene and I'm just going to scroll down until I see a theme that catches my eye. Okay now I'm looking at the suffusion theme right here and what I like about it is that it has a rating of five out of five stars that's the average rating for the average person that rated it and it was updated on 11 30 2010 and that's a good thing because I'm making this video today December 2nd 2010 so it was updated less than 72 hours ago. Now to get to the theme you can click on the thumbnail or just click on the title of the theme. It doesn't matter. And here's the key page that allows you to check out and get more information about that theme. The first thing I would do is just kind of skim over or read over this information right here. And this tells you a lot about the theme. For instance, the menus are integrated. WordPress 3.0 menus are integrated into this theme. That's a good thing. There's also a support forum at this address right here. So if you have any questions about your theme, for instance, can it do can it use two sidebars instead of one? Can you put a sidebar on, on the can you move it to the left instead of the right? What about the menus? How exactly does that work in this theme? Well, if you have questions, hopefully they will be answered on the forum. Most free themes do not have the support forums. Another thing you want to look at is when was it last updated, which we've already done and that is this area here. It was, this says it was updated 11.29 and the version right here 3.7.1 is the version of the theme not of WordPress and that's not the version of WordPress that it's compatible with. So the reason that's kind of interesting is maybe you want to check it out a few months from now and make sure that you still have the latest greatest version of this theme. 
Another thing you want to take a look at is the author homepage and theme homepage. If you want to, you can click on both of these are hyperlinks that will take you to outside websites that have to do with the theme and the developer of the theme. Something else you want to look at is the average rating. Now, it's got a five-star rating, and that's a good thing. It's been rated by 149 people, and almost all of those people have said that this is a five out of five-star theme. You can click on this link here, what others are saying, and you can see what comments people are making, what questions they have. Okay, once we decide, you know what, this looks like a pretty good theme. I think I want it. I'm going to now, or it meets all the basic criteria, I'm going to click on Preview and you get a little pop-up menu. You can close it here. You can download it here. What I'm going to do is just scroll down and on the right hand side you can see these are the widgets in the sidebar and this just lets you know what the paragraphs are going to look like. If you want to do an ordered list in your blog poster page it would look like that. This is what the forms will look like, etc, etc. So that looks pretty good. That's what I want. Now, at this stage, I'm going to go back here and click on this little X. I'm going to close the pop-up window. And I'm not going to download it from the WordPress.org website because it adds an extra step, an extra level of complexity that we don't need to deal with. What I am going to do is just highlight the title of the theme, right-click, copy, and then deselect it. Next, I'm going to click on the tab, go back to our blog. Okay, so just so you can see what it looks like here, you can see there are two sidebars. Our theme only has one. And now I'm going to click on the dashboard where I've already logged in to my blog. I'm going to scroll down and where it says appearance, I'm going to click on themes. Surprise, surprise. Now these, this is the current theme, this is the theme that's already installed. This is theme version 1.8, which I already said at the beginning of the video. And it looks like we've already installed the Suffusion theme here. So I want to teach you how to install this. So what I'm going to do right now is delete this. So now you get to see how to learn how to delete a theme. Okay, now that I've deleted it, we only have a couple of versions of the 1.8 thesis, we've got the default 2010 theme. Okay, now under there's a tab that's called Manage Themes. We're going to click on this tab, Install Themes. I'm going to click in Search. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste the name of the theme I'm searching for. I'm going to click on Search. Now we don't need to preview the theme because we've already previewed it. So all I'm going to do is just click on install. You get the pop-up window and I'm going to click on install now right here. Okay. Now we've installed it but we haven't activated it. I'm going to click on return to theme installer and then I'm going to go back to manage themes and we can see that we now have the Suffusion theme, I've reinstalled it. What you want to do is just click on the thumbnail image and you'll get a little pop-up window. Now once you've done that, then I like to go in the upper right hand corner and you can see it kind of changes when you mouse over it and then I like to click activate. And after your theme has been activated, this is what the back end or dashboard of your blog is going to look like. Under current theme it says Suffusion version 3.7.1 under the manage themes. So we have installed the theme, we've activated it, everything's done. All we need to do now is go to the live blog and see what it looks like. So I'm going to mouse over the title of the blog, right click and click open link and new tab and here we go. You can see We've got the theme, it has been installed. There's the video that was in my blog. These are the videos. It looks Everything looks a little different because it's got a different format, of course. And that's all there is to installing a theme. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.